Welcome to the Foundry's Moto, our flagship 3D content creation package. Moto is a complete 3D modeling, sculpting, animation, and rendering package used in numerous industries including VR, games, product design, advertising, and film. This video series is meant as an introduction to using Moto for the 3D Novus. Moto packs in a lot of functionality and feeling like you need to master all of that can feel pretty daunting, especially when you first open it. But you do not need to know everything about the entire application to do plenty of cool things. So with that in mind, we can focus on small portions of Moto at a time. Just explaining what you need to know for a specific task and build up mastery, a few skills at a time. That way, it's a lot less overwhelming. Hello, my name is James Darknell and I'm going to be your instructor. I have been working as a 3D artist for over 20 years and have worked with Moto since version 1. I've used numerous 3D programs and I remember quite well what it's like to just be starting out. I want to take that experience and use it to create training that can show anyone how cool working in 3D can be. It is my expectation for this training that you have no experience with any 3D program, much less Moto, but you do understand the very basics of what 3D is, such as what a polygon is and what X, Y, and Z coordinates mean. The pacing of the training is set to make sure we don't go too fast and that I cover things as thoroughly as is reasonable without talking on and on about every little detail. I understand that you have important things to do and you want to get working as quickly as possible. I'm also assuming that you know the basics of operating a computer and using a mouse. Learning 3D is a lot like learning a new language, and most of language learning is about the vocabulary. I'm sure we'll be coming across at least a few completely new words. Any 3D specific terms will be highlighted and defined. Also, I know everyone learns at their own pace, so if you do feel I'm moving too quickly on any lesson, feel free to pause this video and review portions that may seem too fast or confusing. Also, pausing the video and working on your own will help reinforce important skills. This will lead to 3D proficiency. I hope that you will enjoy this series of videos and find it a good foundation to working in Moto and 3D. We'll get started with the training in the next video. Before we start, I just want to confirm that we'll be working with the correct content. Within the folder for these videos is another folder aptly named Source Files. Inside that folder, are numbered folders corresponding to each video in this series. Make sure that you know where these files are located on your system, because we will be accessing them throughout the course. Feel free to move them to a more convenient location if you wish. In the next video, we'll be tackling our first basic project, so let's get started.